Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Woo! And today we are here to talk about Drag Race Italia, Season 3, Episode 2. But before we get into it, just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to our goal of 500 subscribers, and we would love to reach there by the end of the year. So if you would be a dear, I haven't slept in a year. I need your help to make my neighbor's nappy dog disappear. And to get that help, I need you to subscribe to the channel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You love my rent. You love my rent crossover there. <laughs> uh, lots of thoughts. Yes, today for you, tomorrow for me. <laughs> um, so what did we think of this episode? <laughs> it was good. Another good episode of Drag Race Italia. Mm -hmm. It looks like they've been taking the notes, and we're finally, you know. We're seeing some things. We're seeing some things. So let's just let's just get into it. So we start off after saying goodbye to Adriana. <laughs> <coughs> goodbye, my good sis. Um, goodbye. They read her message. Goodbye. They sat there goodbye. and then they congratulated Melissa Biacchini for winning the first <laughs> challenge. And yeah. then we go into the next day in the workroom. So. They're all super excited. They congratulate La Prada for making it through. Uh-huh. And the alarm goes off. So, they uh -huh. run over and they get their room mail from Priscilla. She mm -hmm. comes in and announces that they were doing a mini challenge. They have to get in quick drag. And they have to incorporate these butt pads, which I'm assuming is the sponsor for the episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um... And the, 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 Sapario, the thing is. Sapario was like, I can't fit these, so this is going to be a lovely they were like, piece. It's in the wrong spot. And she was like, um, These are a small, and I'm a 7X. So, yeah. yeah they're going to go here. Oh, yeah. So now they're going to play musical chairs with their butt pads, which I thought this was really fun. It was mm -hmm. really funny. I love. Many challenges where they just have fun, and Sapario was the winner. And yes, because this she, was made for Sapario because I love how she just bumped boom, everybody out of the way. way. So Shiari comes in and announces that we are doing. Oh no, they uh, give her a patch. She gets a rub yes. for the mini challenge, which, if you remember, they did that on season two as well. They gave out badges, but their badges tied into what the mini challenge was. So, like, say mm. the mini challenge what was this. It was a chair. That's what they gave her. Oh. Yeah. What happened to my straw? Oh. I don't know. But um, she was given this badge. And mm -hmm. it looks like the badge from last year. Like, the official badge that they sold on the store. It looks mm -hmm. like last year badge. But, yep, she got it. That's what I think it is. So, um, she will also be able to choose the teams for... The acting challenge. And this Ooh. acting challenge is inspired by Greece. Loosely. <laughs> Loosely, honey. Um, but she also gets to choose the team captain for the other team. And she chose Sylvania Della Mignana. Um, which I thought that was weird. I'm like, do there need to be a team captain? But okay, she'll oh, yeah. she'll choose it. That's fine. That's fine. So they I get, guess just something to make the stakes higher. I guess so. Uh, she sat down. They went over the roles that they wanted. Um, Shiari is the director for this event, and this is who the first team is. <laughs> I wanted to wait until I got a picture with all of them here, so that you can see who the teams are. Um, I will list them off for you right now if I must mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for this team here we have uh, uh oh do I have the wrong teams oh no it's okay <laughs> so Sapario we had Layla Yarn Cecilie Amy Crana 
Lena Galore in La Prada. And for mm-hmm. the other team, we have Morgana Cosmica, Sylvania Del Magna, Sylvania Del Magnana, Melissa Biacchini, Lightning Aurora, La Shiva, and Verisia. I was saying it perfectly earlier when I got the screenshots. Her name is one of them names I gotta hear first so I can repeat it back. Verisia. I know I'm saying it wrong. I know I am. But that's who the teams are. So after they go through the um, shooting, we get to the main stage where we have this beautiful main stage, Lord. Um, Mm. We have our truck driver, Priscilla, here. Um, What do we think of her look this week? Um, I like it. You know, LeMay looks good on her. Baby, this is stunning. I'm like, baby, you could tell the budget is big. Baby, she look, she actually looks good this season. The past few seasons. Mm. She said, Paramount did they say. Baby, Paramount. <laughs> Let's just hope next season they up the prize money. Because 20,000 euros, come on. Come on. We can bump that up a little higher. Mm. Um, I got several screenshots of her look because I like this so much. So, we are joined by Shiari, Paolo, and Paola with our special guest judge, Alessandra, which I really liked her. Mm -hmm. I really liked her. So, before we get into their Grease-inspired acting challenge, we have a runway to get to, and the category is Cinema Iconic. So... Lucretia, congratulations. You've been casted for Series 3 of Drag Race Italia. You learned Italian. Props to you. I learned Italian. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, I know Spanish, so, you know, one step over. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you get this your list really and you see Cinema Iconic. What iconic cinema look are you recreating? Harry Potter. No play. <laughs> Bed <Better> not. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do um, Vanessa L. Williams from back from uh, coming to America. <laughs> Queen to me. So you know we've had a similar uh, category to this. Um, back mm-hmm. on UK season three, remember uh, Ella did a Oompa Loompa, uh, Kitty Scott Claus did Kate. Um, I'll never let go, Jack. What's her name? No, what's her name? Rose. Rose she did Rose. Kate's her real name. She did Rose. Mm-hmm. You know. So you know, I said then, and I'm holding ten toes down on it. My iconic cinema look would have been Queen Latifah from Bringing Down the House. When she first popped up at that um, country club, and she <laughs> the denim outfit, yes. <laughs> the nice oily legs, honey. But you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. You wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. I hope you like shampoo. Okay, honey. Um, but let's get into these looks. Up first, we have Layla Yarn serving. What is this thing called again? Hold the Greatest on. Showman. Yeah, The Greatest Showman. Here it is. Yeah, Layla she Yarn. She took a picture of her feet and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, that was just the name card. So, yeah, giving yeah, us The Greatest Showman. Um, I thought this was cute. Mm-hmm. I was shocked she wasn't in yarn. I think they were too because they mentioned it. Yeah, like, and I hate that she was, I hate she had to think like, oh, let me bring something that's not yarn so they don't holler, oh, all you do is wear yarn every week. Like, that that, that annoys me to my core. But if I was her, I'd be like, if any look doesn't require yarn, I, must, I would say this one, especially if I'm trying to replicate an iconic mm-hmm. look from cinema. Right. I mean, at the very least, I did like the hair since it's purple, but... Yeah. But overall, this was a nice look. A, l- a little simple, but it was nice. Mm-hmm. 
you know, she said, let me be Zendaya. Up next, we have La Prada. And La Prada is giving us Carmen Miranda, Bananas is my business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, first of all, this look is everything. Yes. This is everything. I can't tell that it's navy. She had to convince me that it was navy. I it still don't think it's navy. navy. It looked black to me. But then again, under the lights, things. Yeah. So, so you can kind of sort of tell it's a little navy. But you can see it in the skirt. You can see navy there. And I'm like, okay, I see that. But like the top and the head on oh, the headpiece you can see some of it too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's navy. Now that I'm just really looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can yell it's navy. I guess. It's still black though. <laughs> like if you're telling me it's navy, I guess it's navy, but I don't see navy. <laughs> Like, you know how uh, there's that bluish black, like it's black, but you can see the elements of blue in it? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to say this is. <laughs> so up next is Sapario serving hairspray. No. Listen, I love hairspray. Uh-huh, but? Nothing. I think this look is great. Oh, okay. I love the hair. I love the hairspray. Mm -hmm. I love the outfit. It all works for mm -hmm. me. I'm waiting for her to I come out and tell me why that movie is called Hairspray. I'm still I'm still waiting for her to come back out and tell me that you can't stop the beat ever since this whole uh -huh. world began. A woman find out if she shake it, she can shake up a man. Let me stop <laughs> before I have to watch Hairspray tonight. <laughs> uh, you said you don't know why it's called Hairspray? Yeah. Well, you know, they talk about hairspray throughout the movie. And if you remember, the pageant at the end is Little Miss Hairspray. Mm. So there's elements of the hair in the spray through it all. But what did you think of Sapario's look this week? I mean, she pulled off a, you know, she pulled off the look. Not a big fan of the, the disco ball look, but I get, I get the character. Mm -hmm. I knew who she was emulating. So I know this is a little triggering for you. And also, uh, when you get to this week's episode of Brazil, the, huh? there, there's a few of them there too. Um, oh God! La Shiva serving it. I yeah, like this look, huh? So yeah, I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> you know, like you Pennywise. No, <laughs> I know. I'm just mad. Lit. Uh, I'll just say my bit and move onwards. Um, I wish there was just a little bit more shape. The proportions were a little off. But everything else, I loved it. Um, up next is Lightning Aurora serving the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. She want to be where the people are. Yeah. And this is cute. It is. It is real this cute. Is I'm like, okay, Ariel don't got her legs, honey. She said, I'm here. I got my legs and I'm ready for the ball, honey. Where is the prince? Mm -hmm that part we're ready to dance okay uh mm -hmm. what did you think of this look i liked it it was a good take on ariel mm -hmm. in a different it, take it, we haven't gotten this take on ariel before yeah like it was a nice little nod to it in like not the most literal sense yes 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 so moving onwards to melissa biacchini um giving us the chronicles of narnia dolls i loved her i love this look yes this was just amazing now um, i have a confession to make mm -hmm. i've never seen the chronicles of narnia neither have i okay never <laughs> seen it i believe there's a sequel to it too i didn't see that one either but mm -hmm. i did watch a parody you know back when they used to make the parody movies like uh like scary movie they made a parody movie of it and I remember watching that because Jennifer Coolidge was in it I just can't remember the name of it <laughs> I can't either <laughs> but I watched that I multiple don't remember times if it was superhero movie was it I don't it was either superhero movie or it was like not another teenage movie no not another teen movie that now that's my that's one of my favorite movies not another teen movie baby Chris mm -hmm. Evans did that Okay. 
No, I, I, because I've seen it, because I, I can see the dude from the Disney Channel, and he's dressed up like the dude. I just don't remember the name. No, it wasn't Date Night. It was, it, no. What, which oh, one God. was it? Because it was the one that had Kim Kardashian in it, and I used to own that movie. But yes, I used to be really big on the parody movies. Honestly, if they still made them, I probably would still be really into them. <laughs> I just love Marlon them. Marlon Wayans, where you at? <laughs> that part. Can can you can we have them come back and revive the scary movie franchise? Because baby, when they left, the first like scary movie three and four were good, but everything after mm. that was just. Hmm. <laughs> But yes, Melissa, you look amazing here, honey. Like, I had to get another screenshot so they could see it all in its glory, darling. Yes. So, up next is Amy Carana giving us Kill Bill. You know, she just killed her ex. Not the best idea. Not the best idea. <laughs> I heard his new girlfriend was next, though. How did she get here? That's what I want to know. She still loves him, though. <laughs> Just we're not gonna keep alone. <laughs> we are not gonna keep going. <laughs> um, but this Aren't look, you loving that I'm picking up what you're dropping off? I, I love that you picked it up because sometimes you don't be picking up when I'm dropping down. <laughs> oh, but I really like this look. It was nice. I would have chose a different shoe. You know what though? Because most of the time I'm half sleep. I got some good sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I would have chose a different shoe for this, but overall, this was a good look. And I love this take on this jumpsuit. That, because we've seen this jumpsuit done multiple times. And I just, I, I love just, this take on this jumpsuit. I love this take of it. I really do. Up next is Lena Galore, ma'am. Yeah, up next is Lena Galore serving us Psycho. Like, when she came out, I chuckled. I'm like, out of all movies, you chose Psycho. The very first, first horror film. And, you know, I watched that, like, probably, like, ten years ago. And I'm like, wow, that wouldn't even be considered horror today. <laughs> like, I was able to sit there and watch it with no problem, not even a little flinch. Well, I did, you know, when when they were alluding to stabbing the lady in the shower. But, <laughs> yeah, compared to now, but yeah, I thought this look was amazing. It was smart. I, I just, I really enjoyed this. What did I you think? I love it. It was gorgeous. Yes. She, yeah. The funny thing is she it's supposed to be horror. Yeah. She looks like a fairy. And see, I would have took it to the next level. I would have had some holes in it and like blood, little drops of blood coming out of it to, you know. Well, she had them on the shoes. So. Yeah, she had on the shoes. But I would have had it all the way up because, you know, in the movie, they didn't show her actually stacked. Right. But see, that was the point of just having the three little dots on the shoe. Yeah. So I was like, like I would have yeah. took it to that just to give you that fantasy we never got before. But I still, mm. I, this was one of my favorites of this week. Like, she really did this. She really did this. Up next is Virija Vajira. Viz, Viz, I need them to say her name so I can repeat it back. Because you, you should have seen me when I was getting the screenshots and when I was watching on... Uh, Vizira. I was saying her name good. What did you say? Vizira. Vizira. Vizira? No, that ain't, that ain't right. I, I know when they say it. I'm like, yeah. And I was just saying it back. I'm like, yeah, I got it. And here I am. Still butchering this baby's name. Um, <laughs> but she is serving La Dolce, La Dolce Vita. La Dolce Vita. La Dolce Vita. Yeah, La Dolce Vita. Um, I didn't particularly care for this look. Evita. I did not uh, particularly care for this look. It was kind of basic. Yeah, it was, just, it was, it was okay. It was okay. I mean, I love Evita. It's a good movie. Good play. Eh. Up next is Sylvania Della Mignana. Giving us burlesque, in particular Cher's character. Mm-hmm. I Which is now also a Broadway show yeah. that Christina Aguilera is producing. 
I like this look. Mm-hmm. You know, me and Savanya's looks haven't, you know, been, you know, it's my girl. But her looks from the first <laughs> episode, I was like, ooh. This one is decent. So mm-hmm. I would say it is decent. What did you think of this look? I like it. Because it almost looks like the actual costume from yeah. the, the, the movie. Yeah. So it's a really good representation. Oh, I got two. Okay. Up next is Sissy Lee. And she is giving us the Godmother, aka Godfather. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like this incorpor- uh, interpretation of it, mm-hmm. but until she said it, I didn't get it. Exactly. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "Is this?" I'm like, "Victor Victoria." She's giving. She's giving Godfather two, which is technically the prequel for Godfather mm-hmm. one. And then Godfather Three continues on from t- from one onward. Yeah, because at first I thought she was trying to give us Victor Victoria, and I'm like, no, that's not a movie. Is that that was where my brain went? I'm like, this ain't what, what's going on here. And then when she said you can call me the Godmother, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm on the same page now. I'm here. I'm right. Here. I, I get I get it. It took me a second. We went on a journey, but we got there. Yeah, we got there. You just got there before I did. That's all. <laughs> I was a few hours late. That's all. Um, I was fashionably late. Yes. And then up next, we have Morgana Cosmica giving us Back to the Future. I thought this was fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like the bodysuit is just a hair too big. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this was fun. I really loved the way the cape was caping. It was all mm-hmm. good. It was all good for me. What did you think of this look? It was really smart. Really smart. Really smart. So, out of all these amazing looks here, who had your favorite look of the week? Um, Psycho. Alina <laughs> Galore. Um. And then right after that is is Chronicles of Narnia. Ah, I'm torn because I'm thinking Chronicles of Narnia, but I'm also thinking La Prada's look representing Carmen here. Uh, I'll have to say Melissa. I would Melissa Biacchini, The Chronicles of Narnia, 888. Yum, 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 yum. All right. So now it's time for the acting challenge. Up first, How we have The Queens in Love, which was Lashiva, Morgana Cosmica, Lightning Aurora, Sylvania Del Mignana. Melissa Biacchini mm-hmm. and Verija. I will say this. This group was really good. They were. They oh were my so good. god. And the fact that Sapario didn't want any of them because she was purposely picking people she thought were the actors of the group. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there like I was amazed. Like they were all doing so well. Like, honey, you pick wrong. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, well, this next group better be like just as good. Like, this better be like a top two situation because you said mm-hmm. you picked the best of the best. And the funny thing is, is they gave you a mix of like the stage play, the movie, yes. and hairspray. Yes. It just, it all worked for me. It was so good. So let's talk about the second group. <laughs> Uh, we have to. Sapario, Sissy Lee, Layla Yarn, Amy Crana, La Prada, and Lena Galore. Ouch. That was hard to watch. It was so... It, it The first one just flew by. I'm like, I was having a great time. Okay, this, I was living. This one, I was like, ah. What happened? This is supposed to be the best? What? You sure? Like, nobody stood out to me in this group. Uh Uh-uh. Not a single one of them. No. But, let's go... Nobody stood out. It wasn't that funny. I didn't really chuckle too much. Mm -mm. I didn't like the wigs. Like, the dude was funny in the first one. For having absolutely no lines. Like, he killed it. And then they put that wig on him in the second one. I was like, one, why would you do some dumb shit like that? But I guess to make the the other outcome plausible. Yeah. 
was why they did that, but I don't know. Yeah. But Priscilla announced that the winning team is Team Savanya. Super proud. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So, out of this team, though, only one of them gets to win. And it is Savanya Del Mignana. Do you agree with her winning this week? Yeah. They were all so good. Honestly, it could have went to her or Melissa, but Melissa got the win last week. Right. So, let's let's give it to Savanya. Let's give it to Savanya Del Mignana. So we find out that our she won a cash tip of one thousand euros. Chingle chingle here, chingle chingle there. Mm-hmm. So we find out that Sapario's team is in the bottom. So do you agree with Amy? Uh, with <laughs> with Amy and uh, Layla Yarn being the bottom two of this group. I don't think they did the absolute worst. Honestly, I think Mario should have been at the bottom. She was the team captain. You already know where I'm going to go with this. Give it to me. All six of them should have lip synced. Baby, that was my God. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of my favorite looks are standing right here in front of me. But baby, Mm -hmm. that couldn't have been me. Because I looked at them and been like, this this is what y'all gave me? Uh after all, all that. All this six is what of y'all. you gave me. Baby, we got a nice we could listen, we got us a nice big stage now, honey. Spread out. <laughs> Assume the position, all six of you. Let's go. <laughs> Let baby I all six of them would have been up there lip syncing. All six. I know. All six. No. We finna put this new stage to work, okay? Line it up. Let's roll. Mm, so but let me give it to you. I'm, 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 apparently, me and Priscilla see differently. <laughs> and we have Layla Yarn and Amy Caronda in the bottom. And this was the gag right here. They lip sync mm. To Be Loved by Lizzo. I was like, what? Because I thought I was tripping when Priscilla said, To Be Loved, am I ready? I'm like, what? I'm finna say, yeah, this this is definitely paramount. This is definitely paramount because they brought in maybe the coins they're bringing in. Mm-hmm. Am I ready? And dun, 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 dun. them trying to, I just I love it. It reminds me of Germany being like, yeah, we're gonna throw some English songs in there, yeah, yeah. And I think they learned, not even learned, but I think they noticed, because if you remember from season two, the best lip sync was Rhythm of the Night with Nalanya, so uh, baby, Nalanya and um, um, my baby, that real skinny one. Oh, what was her name? I can't think of it right now. Baby, they ate that up. That was the best lip sync I've ever seen on Drag Race Italia. That was one of the best lip syncs of last year, mm. if we wanted to be honest. Hmm. But yeah, so I was shocked to see Lizzo, but I'm like, okay. So they lip synced, and what did we think of this lip sync? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Like they were, they both neither one of them did bad. Right. But there was one thing that really that really got me. Amy didn't know the words. Did you catch that? Oh jeez. Amy didn't know the words. Oh. And Miss Yarn over here had him down. Mm. So I'm not sure if Amy's not too, like maybe she, English isn't a, a strong point for her, maybe. Because mm. I, I can just imagine me having to learn a song in Italian to lip sync. Right. So, like, vice versa. If English isn't her strong suit, I can imagine this is quite a difficult moment here trying to lip sync right. to a song fully in English. But yeah, overall, this was a pretty decent lip sync. Pretty decent lip sync. Um, do you agree with Layla being the winner? I said Layla. Uh, do you agree with uh, Layla Yarn being the winner? Yeah. I do too. But Priscilla did this weird thing again where she announced the loser, the loser first. Her. And I don't mind that, but let the loser walk off the stage before you start talking to the winner. Right. Be like, Amy, sashay away. 
and let her walk away before you start talking to Layla Yarn. Exactly. Let her go bye bye and then be like Layla Yarn, da 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 da, Shantae, you stay. Shantae, Doris. But that was it. She said goodbye and they were flying tonight. Ooh, 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 boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's one of my favorite Rue songs. I love it so much. Um, mm-hmm. And we find out next week that the runway is going to be the Night of a Thousand Paola and Shiaris. And on hey. top of that, they will be doing a Rusical. The Rusical. They will be doing a Rusical. Ignore that final mm-hmm. screen y'all just saw. Ignore that final screen y'all just saw. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's all we have. Krisha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Krisha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. It's S-I-M-P-O-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.